Hello, and welcome to this stair tailored video. I am Suzanne Forsyth. I'm with the University of Texas at Austin, and today we're going to do graphing ordered pairs from an input output table using the concrete pictorial abstract framework and an XY coordinate pegboard. We are going to, uh, again, ground ourselves in the concrete pictorial abstract framework. Uh, remembering that there are a lot of abstract terms and uh, new notation in working with the coordinate plane. Uh, lots of different pictures that kids have to interpret and then they need to understand how that relates to the real world. So we're going to be going back and forth all through uh, these uh, so that kids can uh, become familiar with all these different ways of representing points. Okay, first we're going to look at some abstract things that we need to remember. Uh, essential terminology. These should be review. These are all new. Uh, they need to know line. What does perpendicular mean? Parallel. What is a point? Then uh, what is the coordinate plane? What is an axis? Where's the origin? What is an ordered pair? What does it mean that there's an order? And then we're adding today the input output table. Um, We've used actually a T-chart like this uh, in previous videos, and we just haven't called it an input-output table. We can introduce that terminology for kids because they will encounter it on standardized assessments. Then we have just a mixture here of abstract and pictorial things that kids need to understand. This picture, this graphic I got from the most recently released STAR uh, test, the 2018, and it has this uh, input-output machine. Uh, I think Henry has this machine and he puts in numbers and then he gets different numbers out because the machine follows a rule and the kids had to uh, determine how to graph these points. So we're going to look at doing a input output table, this little t-chart, and we're also going to look at the notation of uh, how we write those ordered pairs. When we think about the concrete um, application, uh, we have different ways that we can represent uh, points in the real world. Uh, this is a, a grid on the floor that kids are moving around through the room. This is a magnetic uh, grid that goes on the whiteboard that you can draw on and put magnets in and move them around. Today, we're going to use the XY coordinate pegboard and we're going to use that picture from the 2018 star and we're going to make an output table we're going to do notation for um, ordered pairs and we're going to graph them on the coordinate grid on the dot camera we're going to use this xy coordinate pegboard to graph the points that are in this input output output machine. Um, before we can graph them, we actually need to put them into a table. So I helped my student here by marking all my X's in green. So we know there's a first that matches my green X in my input output table here. Um, you can have them all in one color or they can write the X's in greens and the Y's in red. I'm going to just do it in one color. Um, four is my input it's x it goes under x two is my y my y is two it's my output my input x is six my output y is three my input x is eight my output y is four and you've labeled these they should be able to follow this output y is five okay I want my kids to practice. They've, they've done this input output table, but I also want them to write it in um, standard notation for an ordered pair. So we would, we've got them already in the right order because the X is first and then the Y. I just want them practicing writing it in the notation. I might write the first one for them and ask them, can you do the others? And then they have this model and they're just getting this extra practice And it's an ordered pair. I'd remind them that it's in order because the X comes first and then the Y. And it's not the same if we flip it over and do it the other way. Now we're going to use the pegboard. 
Now I've written my uh, X axis, my numbers on my X axis in green because green goes first and my numbers on the Y axis are in red because we stop, we wait, we don't do Y until after the X has gone first. My first point is four two, so I'm looking for four on my X axis. And then most students can count up from that, the two and go one, two. If a student struggles, you can always move this uh, Y over so that they can see that straight line that goes up from four. Then my next number is, my next ordered pair is six, three. So I'm gonna look for six on my X axis. And then I'm going to go up three, one, two, three. And I'm gonna put a one, two, three, I can count. And then I'm gonna have uh, eight, four. Eight is on my X axis, it's green. Eight is first, and then I'm gonna count up. One, two, three, four. And then I have 10, five. And so I have 10 on my X axis. And I'm going to go up five. One, two, three, four, five. And one thing I really want my, my uh, students to notice when I have an input output machine that's following a rule, that that is going to make a line and that's gonna be pretty important for them to remember. And I'm gonna show you why you always wanna be pointing out that that makes a line. And the reason it's so important to really be emphasizing that when you use that input output table with a rule, that all those points are gonna be on a line is because when you hit a standardized test, you get answer choices that are like this, where two of them the um, points are not in a line. And so then you've already eliminated 50% of the choices and you've given your kids kind of an advantage in being able to figure out which ones are right. And really the only difference between these two uh, choices is that they've switched the order of the order pairs. So really hitting that X comes first and that these points have to be in a line really helps your kiddos. Anyway, that's today's uh, star, star tailored video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next time.